So, <clears throat> to start inletting, I need to measure the thickness of the frame in the thickest part and the thinnest part. So I'm going to do that now. With the thinnest part, I think we're coming in at around 402. So 402 thousandths of an inch. At the thickest part, I don't know if you can see this. At the thickest part, we're coming at it around 720. Those are the two thicknesses. And then I'm going to divide them by, uh, divide them in half. So this will be 360, and this will be 201. Um, to actually reduce each side of the grip by. So. All right. So now on my wood. I'm going to mark in the area that will be reduced to or by 360 thousandths. I'm going to mark it right here using my calipers, which are already set to 360 thousandths, maybe a little bit less if there's any play in the tool. I'll be able to correct it uh, later. So that's my marking for that. That's that depth. And then on the back here, where the grip is going to be completely uh, reduced, there's no wall left on this side. I'm going to mark it to 201, or half of the 402 that we were getting. So just to be safe, I'm also going to step back one th one thousandths. So I'm going to mark it exactly at two. Uh, two hundred two uh, two tenths of an inch, and mark it as well. Right here. So that line is now representing what I need to reduce the uh, <coughs> the grip by. Okay, now I'm going to lower my Dremel to where it barely touches that line. Nope. A little bit more. Okay, let's check. I think that's going to be perfect. So I'm going to start removing material now. Just make sure that everything is tight and uh, we'll proceed. Hi YouTube, uh, I'm back again. I wanted to show you my progress. Um, as you can see, I've successfully inlet, um, <clears throat> inlet uh, my grips. And by successfully, I mean I was able to remove enough material and keep the, keep the depth and uh, flat surfaces pretty well. Uh, the problem is that I uh, overestimated my uh, ability to, um, I guess, to gauge um, these cuts that I had to make to to meet the round um, faces of the straps, and so they came out kind of bad, uh, as in they don't meet the frame pretty well. So I've decided what I'm going to do um, is to use some uh, glass bedding or acroglass bedding. And, uh, and actually make, make these grips fit a little bit better. Now, this grip, I've already started shaping. Um, as you can see, uh, well, you can actually see the curl a little bit in the walnut, which is really pretty. 
Um, <clears throat> so I started shaping them. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to cut this back piece off a little bit. I don't like it, uh, especially when it's on the gun. It doesn't look good uh, with this protrusion in the back. Or in where I placed my finger grooves in relationship to to the frame corner. So this was a big no-no. Um, I was afraid of going through here when I was shaping. What what I should have done was lowered everything a little bit more. As in this first finger groove should have been lower. Second one should have should have uh, this tip should have ended up at this corner, and then I could have wrapped. Uh, my grip a little bit more uh, in uh, for the pinky. <clears throat> I've bedded uh, both grips to the frame. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is remove some of this excess that adds to the to the depth, basically. Um, so the spillover that that went on the flat surfaces, I'm going to need to remove that uh, to allow the grips to sit flush with the frame. Um, but I've now shaped both grips as well. I'll show you that. So both of them are now shaped and. Uh, I'm going to, this is rough sanding with 220 um, grit sandpaper. So now I'm going to need to, uh, I'm going to need to uh, start sanding uh, with finer and finer grits until I get uh, that very smooth kind of uh, surface. And I'll start sealing it. Here's what the grips look like on the revolver. I know there's a seam, it's my first attempt, so uh, I've learned a lot. I know how to do it next time so that there is no seam, but this is what they look like now. I'm going to use the stock sealer and filler. I've never used this before, so I'm going to try this on these uh, on these grips. <clears throat> I guess you apply it and then uh, let it dry for 60 minutes, and uh, after that, um, sand the grips. Alright, uh, I've done three applications now and uh, sanded the stocks after the third application. As you can see, the grain has been filled pretty well. Uh, there are still a couple of spots, but I'm not going to worry about them because the finishing process will also involve filling um, the grain even further. So I don't need to uh, do anything more, I feel, um, as far as sealing and filling. At this point, I'm going to order. Um, the grip screw and uh, escutcheons or whatever you call them. Install those, uh, obviously drill the grips, install those and then uh, finish using true oil.